Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Inikowski, and this here is a nearly comprehensive audio review of the Psych and So section of the MCAT. In my journey to take on one of the first 2015 MCATs, I found audio osmosis was an extremely helpful and efficient use of my time, like listening in the car while running on study breaks or during boring class lectures. However, there was no audio for the psychology section, although the closest I could find was, in order of relevance, the audio version of the Khan Academy videos, Dr. Bloom's psychology lectures in 2007 of Yale Open Courseware, and the 50 Psychology Classics audiobook. None of these were a comprehensive MCAT psych and social review, and the books from test prep companies were extremely good, but don't seem to be comprehensive either. I made an audio recording for myself before I took my exam, and because it was tremendously helpful for me, I've greatly revamped it so it can be helpful for all of you listening out there. Or, perhaps you might only benefit from the concise Word document from the Dropbox which outlines the different yields of most of the psych and social topics. There are currently sections missing, notably sensory systems, neuroanatomy, statistics, diseases, and therapies, which I'll make, but only if I get enough people emailing me or commenting about them. The reason you're listening to this intro is to get some tips, right? Well, here are some tips. Leave the medical career while you still can. No, I'm just kidding. To use the series efficiently, ideally, you should have some existing knowledge of Psychology 101 and some Sociology. I also recommend looking through the Word document. It nicely outlines the different yields of the concepts and vocab using three colors so that you utilize your study time efficiently. But these are based off of my judgments, so don't assume it's absolute. Now, to do well in the psych and soch section, you need to essentially be an encyclopedia of psych and soch. But there is a ton of information that could be used in the test, so be picky. You only have so much time to spend studying. The Word document is 50 pages right now and also incorporates quite a few mnemonics I made, which are underlined throughout the document. But remember, it is currently missing those sections I mentioned, which I estimate to take about another 6 to 9 pages. In the audio, I try to give a bit of context, so at times, there's some extra info, but it's mainly to break up the monotony and give some background that you could use to elaboratively encode the information. Hint, hint, like elaborative encoding. Also, sometimes there are multiple names for the same phenomenon. I try to use the most important word, but just be aware of the different names. Lastly, there is one more document, the sources document. It is just a few of the sites I visited on my journey to validate the information, but I wouldn't waste your time with it unless you're curious. Now, every file in the Dropbox is free. Feel free to send me any requests you have or questions you come up with along the way, but I'll probably delete that statement if I get way too many emails. But I'd love to help wherever I can. And that's it. So I want to leave you with a final quote by Les Brown. This is one of my absolutely favorite quotes. You've got to be willing to do the things that they others won't do in order to have the things tomorrow others won't have. Think about that, share this series with your friends so they might benefit too, and get after it.